This is the latest we've started vlogging <laughs> since we went, since we started staying home. Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We did the vlog, so if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. This is the hand jive. This is how excited my insides feel <laughs> by expressing them through my hands that it's 5.17 and I'm done working. Sorry. It's okay. I think I was born at 5.17. I think my sister was born at 517. I think that I heard that and then I thought I was born at 517. I think Jenna was born at 517. <laughs> We're listening to the soundtrack of Wizarding World. All the seasons. AKA the music from the movies but Eve is fed up or she might be falling asleep look at this look at this look at this oh. I had the thought today that the first park we go back to if all the parks open up on the same day Don't. Universal Don't. <laughs> Don't even say it look guys I took a shower I got normal clothes on. I did my hair even today. Um, I thought I was supposed to have a bunch of these, like my one-on-one -on -one meetings with my team today. And, and uh, we were actually, we haven't had them since the office went remote because we didn't know how long it would be. But since it's like kind of still gonna be for a while, I decided that we were still gonna do them just over Zoom. So I fully had intentions on doing that today. And then my work day went very much south. So nothing happened like I thought it was going to. I moved all my one-on-ones to tomorrow. So tomorrow I have to do my hair and be prepared to be in like one-on-one -on -one meetings with my team all day tomorrow, which I'm actually excited about. Oh. Um, but I am, I literally have a pounding headache. I don't know why, if it's like not eating, not drinking enough caffeine, or if it was just like my day got so bad at work that it caused the headache. Sarah's making fun of me. No, I'm She's mocking me. My head. She said she's TikToking in her head. She hasn't TikToked a second in her life. I watched TikTok, so. Yeah, so what's happening? What's up? What you want to do? Uh, we should probably eat something for dinner. Probs. Um, we're going to play some Mario Kart. Ew. I haven't played the Switch in like a full day. Oh. A full 24 hours. <laughs> no, longer. A full 48 hours. <gasps> um, we no, I'm like happy that you've been zelda it up. We gotta, I'm almost done with Zelda. <laughs> um, I got a fourth diamond. Oh dear. I just need three more, and then I'm done. That's. I think that's the plan. What about Shit's Creek? Oh yeah, maybe we could watch that. Well, yeah. we get ready for dinner too. I want a ham and cheese croissant. <laughs> croissant. Croissant. From French, from French, from the France Pavilion. Ooh, right, remember if I the can France get. Pavilion? Yeah, I do. I'm hurting really bad lately. I'm missing the parks. Can I, if you get a the, the hot ham and cheese croissant from the France building, can I get my mouth salivating thinking about this? Can I get a hot coffee and a beignet, a baguette? A baguette. A baguette and a coffee from the France building? Because that's my go to from there. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Sarah's just made me laugh because she's like, the whole vlog is going to be in like the, the 10 minutes right now because we have done all these clips. I just decided that we are staying a night at a Crescent Lake resort after the parks open for one night and we're gonna go to Epcot before it opens and have breakfast in the French Pavilion. <laughs> Happening. Christmas time in Hogwarts. Sarah's cooking up an easy storm tonight. We got some dumplings on the crispy side, but that's how we like it. And she made a little sweet zingy salad. Dipper for hot stickers. And Thank we're you. ready to go. This is clean, right? Yes, and I did the dishes and I have like clean water ready to go so we can just clean the dishes after we eat and the kitchen will be spotless so we can enjoy the rest of TV and tonight. And I'd like to go on a run during the during sunlight, but since we're eating right now, I'm gonna go on a run after nightfall. But before curfew. Don't want them no tickets. Never. Here's a close up of the salad, the dumplings, some dipping sauce. Chicago flag co co coaster, co coaster, cup coaster. P.S. Anybody who's got family, friends, or loved ones that are tattoo artists down here in Central Florida, I put the tweet out the other day asking if anybody knew anybody, 
in Sancho Florida because I feel like, oh, obviously I've talked over it Sarah because it costs some monies and time, but I think our whole like helping the local economy thing is a great time to finally, when everything opens back up down here in Orlando, to go out and get my Chicago tattoo because it's a local business. It's Don't you think you should get it in Chicago? I kind of do, but like to get it in Chicago, like the next time, like it might end up being the marathon. And I don't want to get it right before the marathon. I have like an itchy healing tattoo. I want to get it like for the marathon, kind of. Uh, uh, we're going to eat. Maybe we're going to get it after the marathon. That too. She's free out in the world. Feeling that fresh air. Getting that sunshine. Yeah, yeah, she's free. She's loving it. Sarah's wearing a ridiculous outfit to be out in public. But she did not expect to be this far away from our apartment rad. yeah this is what i'm wearing oh, in public. <laughs> it's just like it is the modern old italian lady how full walking the dog for sure i literally carried her for half a block because we ran a little bit and i put her down expecting her to want to walk home but she literally she never she does this sometimes but she never puts her tail down like that she's relaxed like she's full on relaxed right now hi Okay? Tired? Oh gosh. <laughs> seven bottles right here as of yesterday of what we've gone through this little blue cap right here is our very last bottle of oil wow and after today we only have a week's left of shots next Wednesday will be our very last shot wow eight shots I'm going on a run, and Sarah's baking some cookies. Woohoo! Just your standard choco choco chip. I'm gonna do four or six miles. We'll see. I feel like I looked really tired in yesterday's vlog. Um, I think it's just because I am really tired <laughs> lately. Uh -huh. But I tried to do my hair today, but it's a crazy braid. So. You didn't wake up. <laughs> I woke up really late and then I went back to bed on the couch but I'm just saying that I'm sure let me know if you look similar to how I look because we've been going through a lot everybody staying home being comfy cozy I don't know maybe I need a day where I put real clothes on Having a stare off. He hasn't blinked yet. <laughs> I am pretty sure my favorite food just overall is cookie dough. I haven't made cookies in so long. Excuse the movie in the background if you can hear I have hook on. Um, I've said before how much I love brown sugar and I think that's probably why I love cookie dough so much. Um, I followed the Nestle Toll House um, recipe pretty closely. A couple of things I changed just because I had to use plant-based butter. And then instead of egg, I used aquafaba, which is the liquid in a can of chickpeas. And then it's pretty liquidy, so I'm going to do a little bit of more flour. Um, but I think I'm going to make a sheet cookie because it's easier and I like cookie bars um so i can't wait i'm gonna add in the chocolate chips and be done okay here it is going in i gotta say guys keep exercising during all the social distancing even if it's walking on treadmill just walking around your living room there was a lot of i think they were calling backyard altars and backyard marathons last week People literally running their driveways, circles in their backyards for like race distances. But I'll tell you, 
I don't know if it's the humidity or me not walking in the parks as much and sitting in the house all day rather than walking around the floors in my office building. But it's either that or the humidity, but these runs, regardless of short or long, right now are kind of brutal. I think it's, and I'm hoping it's the humidity, my body going back to conditioning for humidity because come fall, when Florida humidity drops, it's like conditioning for Floridians. But check that out. If you're a run Disney runner, you know what that's all about. Bob's Barricade. <sighs> yeah. On their way out. Looks done enough. They came out really good. Cooked them for 20 minutes. I'm sitting here getting ready to do my little late night work thing I do every night for a little update thing, and this scene comes on. And it just makes my insides explode that I want to go on parts of the Caribbean so bad. And Sarah goes, I'd even get blasted by every cannon. I could go on which is arguably the scariest part about that whole ride is when you don't know the suspense Peter of not also knowing. Peter told me that he doesn't think he's ever seen the hook from start to finish. Oh, we're not Whoa. we're not talking about and that right this now. This actually, you know, how I said Ferris Bueller's Day Off was number five, my favorite movie. Mm -hmm. I feel like choose your words wisely. I feel like Hook might be it, number five. Mm. It's probably one of my most quote be quotable movies. But not that's we're not asking your favorite quotable movies, we're asking but your favorite I, movies. The music. This music plays in Hollywood studios. Alright. Uh, vlog viewers, we'll we're gonna we're shutting down the vlog until Sarah and I figure to talk about the talk this through. Alright, those cookies whew, they are like. mighty fine. I've had so many, I'm probably going to have way too many tonight. But Sarah just forgot we play some Mario Kart. So we're going to play some Mario Kart. And, oh, wait, first of all, we were texting with the Earhearts about some old Walt Disney World commercials. And Sarah's going to put a link to one of our favorites down below that accounts for, I said, jokingly says it accounts for 15% of the reason why we moved here. But, Sarah, I think you should put in, like, three seconds of it. Okay. Right now. Transportation, it's on us Even after you get here Take a monorail, or a boat, or a bus There's no fee, no charge, there's no mess, no fuss How you doing this evening on your Mario Kart I'm action? I'm doing terrible <laughs> Like, frustratingly terrible I've also learned some things that I wasn't told before ah, ha, ha, ha. Like, uh how to glide, didn't know how to fly, I didn't know how to flip, okay, and flip. I didn't know that you didn't have to push the joystick all the way forward to go. So. I don't, I feel bad for all that except for the flying, I thought that what? was like logistically known that. Logi I think forward means forward, so whenever I would glide I'd go but forward. But no matter what kind of flying you do, like in a helicopter or a plane, you pull backwards to go up. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it called? A it, pilot. Pilot. I don't have a pilot's license. What did we download? Tetris. We used to play this all the time with our friends in high school, but I wouldn't play. I just walked because I'm too nervous. You know what? I think you'd be better at Super Smash Bros. than Mario Kart. Oh, you're talking about Tetris. <laughs> no, I really do like... Um, What's the one, the one you said? Super Smash Bros. Yeah, I used to play that on GameCube. I know. We need to get it once. Once we get it, we're gonna get it. Once we get it. April eighth, love will find a way. Indifference will find an excuse. Anonymous. Sarah and I have such a loving relationship. You would think like, what is her most prized possession? You think it would be Eve or me or something from our wedding? It's not. I know what you're gonna say. It's this little bottle of Tabasco. I showed that in the vlog yesterday. I know, and you refused to open it, use it, or do anything. It's on a little shrine. I need to have it for the perfect meal. I feel like it's for the perfect amount for two tacos. <laughs> or for a plate of chips. She's on the go. Too spicy for you. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at 
Walt Disney Productions.